I'm Shai Leong and I'm the plant manager at Roti Systems. This is the receiving part where the raw material is then placed via this pallet jack or sometimes forklift into our main cold storage. This building is so well built, it can be very easily reconfigured based on our production needs. And right now what you're looking at are the high shelves where we put a lot of our dry packaging products. And this part of the building can be very easily turned into an extension of the fabrication or the culinary division. So this, this switch, when it's flipped, right, it conditions the air on this part of the building so it stays dry and cool at all times. This particular isolation here is called a fabricating room where we cut a lot of products and we prefabricate a lot of the products for our end user. So in here you will see a blue color conveyor which is designated primarily for our roly roti chicken that goes on the farmer's market and then also you have the white conveyor that is mainly for packaging ready to eat food And then inside the bread, we will stuff it with wild rice, uh, sweet potatoes, chestnut puree, anything that you like. And then we will, we will close that bread together and then we will tie it down with the string. So all you need to do is, from a grocery store, if you get our product, all you need to do is put it on a stirring pan for a few minutes and then pop it in the oven. And in a matter of hours, we have a beautiful uh, boneless turkey roll. So this is an attachment actually, it's pressurized. So it acts almost like a vibrator. Through that vibration, high-speed vibration, the blade will actually take just the bone out. It's pretty cool. This is the holding, holding room. So all the prefabricated products will enter now the cold storage. This is where the finished product is staged before they were, they were transferred onto the truck rotisserie system to be sold at the farmer's market. I'm Thomas Oderman, founder and CEO of uh, Rolly Rolly. So when we started this project, we were located in Hayward and a much, much, much smaller facility. And when I was looking for a location, I was uh, pretty much uh, looking to upgrade the system we have currently, which is a food truck uh, business on a fairly large scale. We choose architectural dimensions for multiple reasons. They are located in Oakland. Uh, most important for us was uh, definitely the capability of the team behind architectural dimension that understood very early on my vision of a food truck commissary. During construction, uh, everything went very, very smooth and well. In fact, we were finishing about 10 days before deadline. What I can say from the architectural standpoint of view, it's just definitely very important if you are able to connect with them. Can they understand your vision? Can they interpret what's hidden in your mind? Now the common routine is a clean truck will pull up to this particular spot and then we will load the truck with the products that is allocated for that particular farmer's market and then off the road they go. state-of-the-art glass chiller that are calibrated at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's the, where we keep our stocks. You see uh, two tilt kettles, which are brazers. And then next to it, you have a stock kettle. So each column, the one in the back will accommodate six skewers. So the way things go is they put chicken on top, and then the pre-blanched potato at the bottom tray here. Now as the chicken cook, it renders a lot of chicken fat so that it can finish roasting the potato. The rendered chicken fat is actually going to make the potato a little bit crispier and a little bit more uh, richer. That, that is essentially our signature products.
architectural dimension definitely had the wisdom to come forward and explain us what would be the best in our scenarios. I am uh, very, very, very pleased and I can only recommend then to anybody that is looking to build something similar to me. Everybody is welcome to visit us at Rolly Rooney.